they obviously happen, but they do tend to be relatively rare. Well, like this summer, every it 10 feels, minutes, yeah. it seems like my phone's <laughs> when you scaring the heck Jersey, out of me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and the other thing, too, to keep in mind here, though, too, is the way that we message this stuff out now, it's different. It's totally evolved, so you knew it was coming. Yeah. And if you were maybe lucky enough to be watching the, t the, te the television at the time something hit, then you would know, too. But, yeah, the Weather Service will cut into your phone and let yeah. you know when it's coming mm -hmm. based on where you are geographically, which is a fantastic thing. We're saving lives, man. You know, one tornado no, at a time. It's crazy. But talk about what was, just went down in Virginia and the D.C. area. I just saw a tweet that there's actually basement flooding in the White House right now. It was nuts, and it was actually part of the same disturbance that is still making an exit here. So we got by, you know, without any major issues. But let me take you out here to some of the Doppler estimates over the D.C. area. Bethesda got slammed. You guys mentioned at the desk that we had over 3.3 .3 inches of rain in D.C. in an hour's span. This is a 24-hour span, and that obviously is still pretty impressive, too. But just to give you the breadth of how this had rolled through, Meanwhile, by comparison here locally, I mean, we ended up with under an inch in most spots, save for far western Berks County and at least parts of Lehigh Valley where you picked up maybe an inch. But yeah, I mean, we're looking here at a loop that goes back a handful of hours. That was intense rain and just in time for the morning rush for a lot of these folks. So it kind of just seemingly came out of nowhere, I think, for a lot of people. And there were tons. Uh, these are all flood reports that came in from that area. Now, when we zoom it back out again and we look at just a three hour loop at this point, there is still a back edge to this and a very well defined one when you look at the satellite, especially. You can see that things have definitely cleared in northwestern PA, heaviest of that rain through the Delmarva Peninsula, still working its way through. But as far as we are concerned, it really is clearing. And the nice news is this large, uh, just back of nothing <laughs> that's over the Great Lakes region, that's high pressure, helping al allow that air to sink and clear out the sky, and that's what's nosing down right now. That's what's going to A, clear out the skies, B, allow us to feel that humidity drop, and then also keep the temperatures at bay here throughout the rest of the day as skies clear. So we're looking forward here in the next couple of hours, and it is a gradual clearing. That That is the key word. It isn't going to just happen like flipping a switch here, but as skies clear, the humidity just gradually starts to drop. It'll feel better and better. And tonight, you might be able to forego the air conditioner, leave the windows cracked open. It'll actually feel that refreshing to you. Later into the overnight, though, and into tomorrow, skies are generally going to stay nice and clear, all courtesy of that high pressure. So current dew points are still they're a tad humid. I mean, they're better than they were earlier this morning, but talk about gradual. We are at about 67 degrees with the Philly dew point over the last handful of hours, and you're still just at 66. So it is still what I'd coin as humid, but it will gradually get more and more comfortable. So let's look at some of these future dew points, just moving it forward. Come 6 p.m. this evening, you may have dropped another five additional degrees on the dew point temperature. Then we're dropping even further through the overnight. It gets progressively more and more comfortable. And pre Previous models even suggested some of these dew points could drop as low as the 50s or even 40s. Now, things have dried out nicely in Bethlehem. Here's a live look for you with a hint of a breeze at Main Street in outside of Hotel Bethlehem. It certainly still looks damp and it is still muggy there, but it's getting there. 70 degrees currently at the airport. Yeah, I mean, if we're only at 70 now, we're not going to be rebounding that much further from this point. Give it another maybe 10 degrees or so. Onshore wind flow still the theme here at the shore, and I know it hasn't brightened up completely yet for any of us, but it will, and it'll do so from northwest to southeast. So today is in fact the cold day, if you will. We're going to end up into the upper 80s later on this after or into the uh, Tuesday time frame. Low 90s on Wednesday, and by Thursday, we're expecting to see our next round of showers or storms that'll come in tail end of the day. We're coming right back.